What's your name? Maggie. Now, you haven't had an opportunity to see him in concert yet, have you? No, I haven't. But you're going to tonight? Yes, I am. How long ago did you buy your tickets? Not very long ago. <laughs> Good answer, but you're excited. Well, very awesome. Well, while you're here, make sure you go over to our prize tent. We are registering folks for some meet and greet. Would you like to hang out with Clay Aiken? Yes, I'd love to. Go get registered. I will. Our table's right over there. And we've also got some autographed posters from Clay Aiken that you can get registered for. Come see us. We're at the GEC. There's plenty of tickets still left. And coming up next, we'll check in with Brian Nash, who is over at the Spaghetti Factory for all the Claymates. Till then, I'm Butter. We're live on 107.5 The River. 107.5 The River. My name is Rhino. It's 438 right now. Everybody's looking forward to the big show tonight downtown at the Gaylord Entertainment Center. Clay Aiken and Cherie performing live. We've got your chance to register for some backstage passes to that show. I'll tell you how you can do that coming up here in just a few few minutes but right now we've got clay aiken on the phone with us buddy welcome to the show hey how are you hey welcome to the show buddy well thank you very much i hear you have a sound check you've got to do here in just a few minutes yeah they keep me going pretty much all newspaper I... interviews all afternoon and then as soon as i get a chance to eat they're like no 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 eat and the radio people in between <laughs> yeah <laughs> well just you i think well that's beautiful buddy welcome sure. to town well, thank you very much. Uh, Clay Aiken, so many questions, so little time. I gotta ask you, what's it like being a big shot? Because whether you believe it or not, you're a big shot now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. I have enough people around me who kick my butt and keep me in gear and tell me I'm not a big shot. So. They knock you down to size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably healthy to have those it type is. of people around. It's good. No, but seriously, how has your life changed? You are not the Clay Aiken that you used to be. Um, it's a little. Uh, it's a little. You know, this time last year, well, a little, a little before this time last year, I was not doing much at all. I was. Turn my homework in late, you know. So, uh, <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of odd to to be in a position where um where actually one of my high school uh, my, my high school my college professors came to a show the other night and was um was just so nice and so you know and I was thinking you know last year a year ago she would have been mad at me because I didn't I didn't. I failed a test or something. You know? These are the same people that were kicking <laughs> yeah. your butt a year ago. <laughs> yeah, are kissing it now. <laughs> exactly. So tell me a little bit about what goes through your mind performing in a big arena. Think back to your first big arena show. Oh, goodness. So that was a while ago because we had the Idol Tour. I mean, it's, it's still, you still get that whole, um, uh, that thrill when you walk, you know, you come into the arena the first, first time and the crowd's there, you know, thousands of people cheering and screaming and all that stuff. So it's without a doubt a huge, a huge rush every time. There's nothing like um, doing it live, you know, instead, instead of, you know, on, on TV taped. Do you get that um, that nervous rush where you have to go to the bathroom like every five seconds before you walk out? I've kind of gotten to where I'm not so nervous anymore. Right. <laughs> I, I usually I usually just worry about forgetting my words, which which is which is odd because usually the ones I forget are the ones that I you know the album songs. It's not the covers that I forget the words to. It's the songs that I'm supposed to know. Have you ever forgotten the words during a performance? Oh yes. What do you do? I stop and say I'm sorry. I forgot the words. And I just, Seriously. I, I, I just kind of find it. I just kind of kind of catch up and figure it out in a minute. I could see that happening to I don't know maybe a band like Warrant, but oh no, it's happened to me too. Oh I mean, I'm wow! Hair band rock star. <laughs> that oh hey, and speaking of which, I just got off the phone. I did a contest um, last hour, and I spoke with the winner. Her name was Gina, and she lives in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And she wanted me to ask you a question. Okay. So this is from Gina. Okay. She wants to know how many people and how long it takes for you to get your hair to look the way that it does. It's a team of 25 highly trained individuals. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no, it's just the one, and they um, and and it takes about only takes about. Uh, 15, 20 minutes now. We've got it down to an exact 20 also. <laughs> because I heard that if you're using any more than two, you're probably using too many. I'll tell you what, I'd catch on fire if someone takes it close to the line. <laughs> that would be tragic. Um, boxers or briefs, Clay? People um, want to know these things. Uh, it, uh, these are important things, I imagine, the boxers. Boxers? Yeah. Uh, now, are they the boxer briefs, or are they just full-on boxers? No, no, they're just full-on boxers. Wow. Yeah. These are interesting questions that, you know, the fans want to know. <laughs> I would be doing them a disservice if I didn't ask you these questions, right? <laughs> are you a carbo counter? A who? A carbo counter. Oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> I didn't think so, but just had to find out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we got Clay Aiken on the radio live at the GEC tonight performing with Cherie. Tell me a little bit about Cherie. She's really good. You know, she's very, and I said that like I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. I heard her album before we came out here, but she's hot, and she's got a great voice, and she's a really, she's, uh, we're, I'm excited to have her open it. You know, we're going to have an opportunity for listeners to get registered for backstage passes, not only at the GEC. Uh, are you going to have a chance to stop by the fan club party? Uh, if I get done with the sound check, maybe so. We'll uh, <laughs> okay, and, and here's the big question. Okay. Tell me about your love life. Oh, there is lots of love in my life. I love many people. But, but I'm <laughs> but, talking... But romantically, it, uh, unless, you, unless you count my dog. What kind of a dog do you have, Clay? I've got a border terrier. There you have it, ladies. Clay and his dog. 
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. It'd be more like a nightmare. That, hey, buddy, thanks so much for taking the time. I know you've got a sound check that you got to get to, but for being on the show this Stop afternoon. Life. And we're all looking forward to the big performance tonight at the Gaylord Entertainment Center. Clay Aiken. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Uh-huh. All right.